Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo 100k run of Will of a Thousands. It's one of the few I don't have. I don't actually have a run done. We're doing it on Sunbreaker. I'm using Midnight Coup. Uh, the Arkmanan is making a welcome return. Thunderlord. And the modifiers I'm using for this is Heavyweight, Momentum, Solar Singe, because everything does Arc in here, so you don't, you don't want Arc. And we are using match game. Now, really, you've only got the possibility of three solar shields to deal with, so that's why we've went Sunbreaker. And now I'm going to take this opportunity before we get into the video to let you guys know, because I'm probably not going to have time to tell you guys after the video. I'm working on a challenge. Uh, that's why there hasn't been a lot of content up on the the channel. Hopefully at the end of this week I'll get part one of it out. It's a three week challenge. Anybody that follows me on Twitter will have seen updates on it and progress reports. But stay tuned for that one. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's something a little bit different for the, the channel. Uh, so on with the video. I'm doing this with a 95 power handicap because most of us will be close to the, the, the 650. But as you can see, I think I get 191,000. So you can drop that modifier quite a bit and still get the 100k. Now, I don't have anything with heavy ammo finder. I was quite surprised I didn't have anything on my Titan that would allow me to have he uh, machine gun scavenger and that type of thing. Uh, machine gun reserves. I'd have had to have taken one of those off. So we're basically re what, relying on heavyweights, heavy ammo, perk, uh, dropping us all the heavy we need. So, again, I've said it in numerous videos, but for anybody that's new to the my guides, try and when you can, when it's safe, and if you watch the video, there's a, there are a few safe zones, switch to a different weapon. And another thing you'll see me do is I will cut off my shots on shielded enemies before just before they're dead to hopefully allow the the lightning effect from the thunderlord to kill them because that can drop heavy ammo as long as the kill isn't with heavy ammo rounds the thunderlord's perk will actually uh drop you heavy ammo if you get the kill with that lightning thing this was a bit of a I took a bit of a chance here jumping up in this rock realized that there were so many of them there i'd committed <laughs> Don't jump up on that rock. That's that's. I I didn't think there was gonna be as many of them staring at me. Uh. And yeah, so fifteen thousand minute and a half in. I always check, especially up anywhere I've killed any enemies without heavy. I always check to make sure there isn't heavy ammo because I like to go into the next section with full heavy. It's it's a thing with me. I always like to do it. This first section can kind of tell you a lot about because there's two sections where you can you, you can get random enemies so the, the first section this section you're either going to get a a shrieker or an ogre if you get a shrieker here you'll get a shrieker in the last section before the main the main ogre section the, the section where you actually get the valkyrie so uh if you get an ogre here, you'll get an ogre there. If you get a shrieker here, you'll get a shrieker there. I prefer the ogre. I think it's it, it's just easier because you get a chance to actually deal with the ogre. As you can see, I've dropped. I know I've dropped heavy, so I can expel some heavy ammo. I'm not wanting to go too kind of liberal with the heavy, but I I knew I had a box, so I used the heavy just to to wipe them out. But I just realised. Well, not just now, but when I was doing the run, that I actually had about three boxes on the floor. So, being the liberal kind of person I am, I still don't want to burn too much heavy ammo. So, as you can see, just to recap, what we've done is we've cleared the major enemies. So, in here, there's a shielded a shielded arc knight that, that will be here when you first come in. Then you're either going to have an ogre or a shrieker that will spawn with a whole wave of ads at the bottom. And you're also going to have a yellow bar shielded, uh, not not a elemental shield, just that hive kind of shield that they carry. You'll have a yellow bar one of them. You'll have some orange bar acolytes and just normal acolytes. 
40,000, 3 minutes, 37 in. And we move to the next section with heavy. This next section, you've got a couple of yellow bars. We've got a yellow bar, shielded yellow bar, and some orange bars. And as you can see, the, the lightning effect from the Thunderlord took care of them. And there we go, that's a section clear. You go into, this is this is the next kind of, uh, it's, there's no real, with this one, there isn't real any, what I would say, troublesome sections. Now, because we've got, we've, we've put it on solar burn, those acolytes bombs, they you try and stay, try and stay aware, just really stay aware. And what I've found is, depending on, if you've attacked a wave of ads and there's one or two of them left, and they throw a bomb, move towards them. And they'll throw the bomb over your head. You really don't want to be anywhere around that because the solar singe just makes it a bit of a nightmare. So I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna pre grenade this area, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a little bit of heavy down. I don't want to put too much because you if you've got heavy on the floor, you know the drill. Anybody that's watched watched the videos knows the drill. If you've got heavy on the floor, don't be scared to put put some heavy down it just it just uh gives you it gives you that little bit more time here you'll have a different enemy now i went for i went up there for the shoulder charge because i thought it was going to be the wizard so I, I prepared for the wizard we've you know we've got momentum so when it wasn't the wizard i was still proking my health we got a shielded knight no problem We've got a couple of shielded knights coming at us. I'll just burn them. And now I'll take out the rest of the the acolytes. Just with primary. Trying to drop some more heavy ammo. Now. I was I was thinking this when I was doing the run. How much time I actually lost versus score. And it actually turned out it was a really kind of smooth and fast run this was. So take out the ads. Heavy ammo is it's 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 what you're looking for in every section. So what I do with this this uh, Valkyrie is I use the first shot to proc the proc. I'm not going to proc anything. I'm going to kill that. <laughs> I'm going to destroy that. In this section, because we know we've got an ogre in the first section, we've got an ogre here, which means you can actually come out and attack these ads with a Valkyrie. But if you get a Shrieker in the first area, don't come out here. Because the Shrieker will be focus firing you from the minute you come out. It's just a bad time. You won't have enough time to do what you need to do. Just drop the Valkyrie after you. Th the doorway we just come out of, you can actually use that as cover. The doorway can be used as cover. Now, another thing I've kind of noticed. So, j sorry, just to recap on that. That doorway you come out of, that I said you can, you can go back into it. That's why I'm saying you can use it as cover. You can, and the ads won't come any further than the entrance. So that big yellow shielded knight, the, just the, the normal shield that the knight hive carry, uh, he won't come anywhere past the entrance to the door. So you can use that. Uh, so if, if, yep, if you get an, if you get a, if you get a, an ogre, you can come out and you can attack this area with the rest of your Valkyrie. If it's a Shrieker, go back in, make sure your heavy's reloaded and just m take the Ogre out first. That's my suggestion. So we're going to move in. This is the big kind of fight area before the boss. And this is exactly what I'm going to do. I've dropped a Rally Barricade just so I can maybe take some of these out with, with my primary. And then, now we know we're, we're going red here and we know that, but as long... As long as we're here and we're moving about, we're going to be fine, right? Because we need to take that ogre. The minute the ogre's down, move and get your momentum proc. Now, I don't think, you know, there's no more kind of shielded enemies. So what I've done here is I took his shield down, some of his health, and then I've just popped my super. Because it's solar burns, so my super's going to do big damage. Once these couple of enemies are taken... There's no more arc shields. That's why I burnt it. That's why I burnt the super. Now what we've got to do, uh, we're going to waste, not waste, we're going to expel a little bit of time.
doing <laughs> it seems like in nightfalls especially the the 100 k's i spend quite a bit of time doing this within the strike we're going to try and get ourselves some heavy we know we've got a brick there i think actually turns out i dropped quite a few bricks here and you want to go into the next section again you want to go into the next section with full heavy now i know i've got a bit of heavy so i'm just expelling so we're trying to save time we're, we're doing well on time here you know, we're nine minutes in and we're just about at the boss. We want to get to the boss. We don't want to, we don't want to have to rush the boss, you know, and, and be losing time the whole time we're there. So we've got a heap of heavy. There's still heavy bricks on the floor, which is good because the next section we're going to need a little bit of heavy to take down those arc shields. And it means we can burn that and not really be, you know, watching we're heavy too much. Uh... And, and 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 that's that's this section done. Now the Valkyrie the Valkyrie is gonna be important in the next section, but not as important as you might think. Because we've got match game on, so arc shields are just gonna eat the Valkyrie up. So what I'm gonna do is throw that in there. I'm gonna go to the doorway. It won't open, obviously. I'm gonna put down a rally barricade, grab the Valkyrie, drop it straight away. And then just take down these arc shields. We know we've got a heap of heavy. Now, Thunderlord works exactly the same. I, I, I don't want to treat you guys as if you don't know what you're doing. Because I know you do. But the Thunderlord will always work better if you get crits. Especially on bigger enemies. You know, you don't want to be just melting. You don't want to be just constantly you know finger on the trigger wasting wasting ammunition you want to be as frugal with your heavy as you can be as efficient it's not really frugal it's efficient so always try and go for crits even on shielded enemies because the minute the shield goes down they will disappear if you're critting them i'm just running about looking for that last heavy brick there we go we're going into the boss section with max max heavy uh, 265. There's still a couple of enemies here, but I mean, we're doing really, really well. You know, we're, we're 11 minutes in, and we are 173,000. Just, yep, there or thereabouts, 173,000. So, what's going to happen in this next section is we're going to set ourselves right next to a box. The reason why we're going to get so close to this box is because it's solar singe, so the the uh, Zolt is going to it's kind of got a solar attack, and because we've got momentum for most of this fight, we're going to have inertia, which is your health won't come back unless because you're static. So we want to be as close to this box as possible, and when he goes for his flame spraying attack, we can just back back to, move to the left. Get behind the box and we won't won't be losing any health as you can see real close to this box and as soon as he comes i know i'm not critting him right here i'm just getting my sights and we want to just melt as you can see we're getting a, we're getting some good melt on but i'm i'm trying to get as many crits as possible see what i'm saying when he does his flame attack we can back it behind the box and just we're not losing anything because we backed away next to the box uh we we could still keep our sight on his face because we could keep the sight where it is and just move to the left a little bit come straight back and we're right back on him so because we've we've skipped a couple of damage phases so we skipped the wizards so i can actually go for a little bit of heavy on some of these ads but you've got to watch out because there's acolytes. So I'm just going to burn my super. Whenever you see that purple come up on the floor, make sure you're off the ground. Because if you if you jump, it kind of nullifies the effect of it. I thought I was going to die here because I'd pushed. Make sure you're aware of that, guys. Because, you know, in between that, when he goes to the back, I would stay where, where I am now. If I was to do this over again, 
I would stay here and attack him from here. And just make sure that you do that little jump and boost. And the boss doesn't really stand a chance now. There you go. 197,000. Not bad for 13 minutes work. And that's the run, guys. That is the run. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope uh, if you're new to the channel, thank you for watching. If you are one of my one of my uh, subscribers, thank you very much for staying with us through the last year. Hopefully 2019 is going to be a great year. This challenge that I've set myself, this three-week challenge, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I, I'm putting a lot of effort into this challenge, so keep your eye out for the first part, which hopefully will be up by the end of the week. I'll try and get the Corrupted up tomorrow night. Uh, 100k on that, because that's another one I haven't done before. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.